Greetings, uh, this is Sister Rebecca, a.k.a. Holly Hood, and I just wanted to um, get back to you on this whole um, new um, revealing of the Illuminati, how they're getting so um, blatant with it, and um, one of the um, other legends in R&B, uh, my sister, Shaka Khan, um, spoke out. She revealed it for what it is. More and more people are getting the boldness. So you people really need to listen. I had said years ago that these artists are worth more dead than they are alive. And um, <clears throat> it's no secret that Clive Davis, um, old school Illuminati, um, president of Whitney's label, who made tons of money off of her, uh, people who say the Illuminati is not interested in music money, <clears throat> you obviously have no idea just how much money can be generated through one good artist who sells lots of records. The money is incredible, more than you could ever ima imagine. But towards the end, Whitney was losing money for the label, just like Amy Winehouse and others who have um, allowed the drug to take them over. They begin to lose money, and the record labels begin to lose money, and this is not acceptable. So this is how these demons work. But I'm going to let you hear it from the legend Chaka Khan. This is her um, on CNN, and she She's actually um, revealing, you know, um, Clive Davis and, and, and all of these other characters for who they really are. It is not a game, people. And this machine around us, this so-called music industry, is such a demonic uh, thing. Uh, it, it sacrifices people's lives and, and their, their essences. How does it feel when you know that Sony, I think it was in, back in the UK, had jacked the prices off of Whitney's album? It reminds me. It was in an hour of the night. Yeah, that reminds me of the time I had a manager who once said to me, Ash said to me, you know, you work for money dead in a while. I was introduced to certain people and to certain opportunities to to use recreational drugs, and <laughs> it, it, it falls down to what I want to do. I'm not going to 